Nobody likes a bad flashback. It's time for Ajax Tech. Hello and welcome to Ajax Tech. I'm your host, Alex Zarnowski. I'd like to remind you that Ajax Tech is part of Ajax Networks. Please be sure to visit ajaznetworks.com for all of our latest shows and blogs, including Cinema Clash, The Salinor Show, and Internet Amazings. Facebook has finally spent some of that hard-earned cash on a photo editing company, which we all know, and at least some of us love, called Instagram. Hopefully that means good things for us Facebook users, but I have my doubts with the current way Instagram operates. I'm not sure I want every one of my pictures splashed with permanent filters. It's not a great way to portray reality and creates a false sense for everyone that you're some kind of aspiring artist. That being said, I hope to see some stiff competition with Google Plus's photo editing capabilities. This means full customization, HTML5 compatibility, and as Zuck said, a way to opt out of sharing with Facebook. If he can re-revolutionize the way we share photos by giving us some actually useful tools, the world of sharing photos on Facebook will be a less hipster-filtered place. When you think Mac, you tend to think no spyware, no malware, no worms or viruses. But since the flashback malware, let's do the math. Apple is almost worth $1 trillion and has sold 350 million iOS devices since 2007, which until only recently required you sync it with iTunes. How many people upgraded to a Mac just for the sake of upgrading based on their purchasing of an iOS device? Also, I think iOS may have popularized Apple to those who would otherwise have gone with a competitor. There is a relationship here with new customers, and it's also sparking a new relationship with OS X and malware. The reason I'm bringing this up has to do with the fact that Apple got involved and 600,000 Macs became infected. Please don't let this become a trend. People still like to enjoy an antivirus-free Mac and peace of mind. Don't get me wrong, this isn't the first time this has happened, and you are 10 times more likely to become infected while using Windows, but it's only a matter of time before 1 trillion becomes 1.5 trillion, and the bad guys find a way around sandboxing. Finally, let's talk space. And no, this isn't going to be all about the new Nova app on the App Store, it's about real science. You might remember the term science. It's all that stuff behind all of our consumer electronics products right? Anyway, our universe has been here quite a while, kind of racing outward like a blown up balloon. And all this time, the humans on planet Earth still wonder if there's any life out there like us. Does a universe with trillions of stars have solar systems that match our own? I'll leave you to those questions. I think the answer is obvious, but hard facts tend to never lie. Reports over at Ars Technica say that astronomers have discovered two additional planets in a solar system thought to only have seven. And while this isn't enough evidence to include one of those nine planets is Earth-like, I'll sit back and enjoy the fact that the ratio of discoveries made to discoveries overlooked will always weigh more on one side. Well, that's all for this episode of Age As Tech. Got Stitcher? We're on it, so get it. Stitcher is an award-winning provider of news talk and radio for your mobile phone. Stitcher Smart Radio, the smarter way to listen to radio. You can find all of our podcasts, including Cinema Clash and The Saliner Show, at ajaznetworks.com. Follow me at twitter.com slash ajaztech and search for my name on Google+. You can email me at ajaztech at gmail.com. You can find this show and more at Ajaz Networks. Originally different media for your personal taste.